it burns me that I cannot use my new background yet. But anyway, hello everyone, this is Roxas1359, welcome back to Let's Play Spyro Year of the Dragon. Last time, a evil plot unfolded that involved the theft of dragon eggs. And still one question remains, where are the female dragons? Because there are no female dragons in the first three Spyro games. To my knowledge. Because in the first Spyro game, they were all males. Less dragons breed like how seahorses do when the males give birth. Let's try and not think about that. Anyway, let's head now to Sheila's Alp. Alright. Sounds like fun. I'm poor. I only have a hundred gems. Sheila's Alp. Hmm. So what is this world? Thanks again, Spyro. Now I have to find out what that nasty sorceress has done to my home while I was locked up. Hmm. Does this mean? Yes, we get to play as Sheila. Hey, Sheila, while you are gone, a bunch of Rhinox kicked us out of our houses. It's okay, though. Bobby, Pete, and I are working on a clever plan to take them back. Why is it that I get the feeling that your clever plan is not good? Anyway, yes, in this game, as you can see, we are controlling a different character. To control Sheila, left analog stick control things. Push the square button to simply kick. Circle button. Kick. And she does a stomp too if you jump and hit the triangle button. Now Sheila is different in that she could do a high double jump. So she could do a double jump like that if you just push X again in the air. Or if on the ground, right at the end, you can do that and boom. Anyway, this is a Rhinox. Yay! Yep, Rhinox dropped gems. We're back to the time when gems were dropped by enemies. So my guess is that the sorceress took a thing from Nasty Norks book and turned gems into treasure into enemies. You can get up really steep cliffs like this one with your double jump. Press the X button to jump and press it again exactly when you hit the ground. Okay, that's what they call a double jump. I call this a double jump, but oh well. Right? Anyway, these things make the return, so hit god dang it. The one thing I don't like is that sometimes Sheila, it's very weird when it's controlling her because it feels like she doesn't stop too well. But that just might be my controller. Coming up. Ah, home at last. Here, I was saving this to make an omelette, but I think you deserve it more. I just saved Ruby's life. Oh, wow, that's a pretty... That's a nice dragon. I love the color of some of the dragons, it's pretty cool. And if I haven't said it before, this is actually probably the Spyro game that has my favorite music on it that I wouldn't mind getting some on my iPod. But not too much. Oh, now you might notice that right here. Okay, that's... Some of these walls, when they have cracks on it, are fake. Not all of them. When was the last time I actually played this game? It's been a long time since I played this game. Oh. Yay! It's okay, I'm an animal, and I'm just... It's not animal abuse if another animal does it. It's just nature. Right. So let us simply... This. And yes, you can hit while in the air, which is always fun. Alright, so let us do this. And get some more gems. Because gems rule. Now, the stages later in the game, some of them just get ridiculous. Ridiculous. The early parts of the game, normally in the Spyro games, the last world is usually my favorite one, as it has some of my favorite levels. Uh, with this one, it's not really that case. Some of the levels later in the game are just kind of tedious. Some of the, the early ones are a lot of fun, though. I really like the early ones. Alright. So, oh. Gotta get them gems. Some of these episodes are going to be short. Some of them are going to be long. Whoa. Out of my way. All right, do you have something for me? Hey, Sheila, let's play a joke. Take this egg and smash it on Billy's house, okay? I need to get him back for the last time he butted me off the cliff. I'd rather not, you know, kill Jenny. How was she born with glasses? How was she born with glasses? Do you say something else? Sometimes they usually say something else, so it'd be interesting to see. Okay, there's stuff over here, and there's the retarded non-flying seagull. When did I get hit? 
Right? So we need to get more gems. Because I usually don't want to return to worlds. Only a few worlds we're going to have to return to for a fact. In fact, I think there's only one or two in this home world that we have to return to because of some things that we can't do yet. Right? More gems. So let's go and commit more self defense. It's not animal abuse. If it's another animal doing it, it's just self defense. Whoop. Oh, to joy. Now, this place is fun right here. As you can see, these houses here, if you stomp on them, ta da! Whoa. Okay, there we go. As you can see, they get destroyed and gems come out. They infinitely spawn enemies, so you need to destroy these. There we go. Sometimes the hit detection for is kind of weird, though. Right? Whoa, whoa. Right? And... Ha! Don't need to charge it. I can just use my mighty feet. Right, where are you? There you are. There you go. Bye-bye. And this. Oh, I missed. Moose! Moose! Hi. Oh, Don, I didn't... I was trying to see if I could stop myself from saying that. Oh, well. It's actually been a while since I've actually said that. Right. And hit this. There we go. Ow. Bad. That'll teach you. Oh. Ow. This is what I mean. It's sometimes a pain, in my case, for controlling Sheila. That's why controlling Sheila for me is not really the best. I'm not the best at controlling her. Right. You... Me gems. I also get afraid that I'm gonna just walk right off the cliff. Cause same as before, walking off cliff into bottomless pit equals instant death, and there are lives in this game. Right, going up and there we go. That is a life for us. No, a gem fell off. Well, I almost kind of ran off that one, and I almost fell to my death on that one. Would have been kind of bad. All right. I think we're close. This is actually the last egg in the stage once we talk to you. Thanks for the help, Sheila. You can have this egg I found in my house. Not gonna find him in a thousand years, huh? Well, good thing it hasn't been a thousand years, eh, Nan? So, that is three eggs, whoa. If you ever forget how to control a character or vehicle, just go to the pause menu and select help. Vehicle? Spoiler alert, Zoe! These... Right. Now, I do know that there is a wall that I missed somewhere that has gems in it. I'm pretty sure I did. If not, then goody goody gumdrops. Right. So I am missing, I think, ten gems. Right. If... I am missing a gem. Cutting till I find it. It starts again. You think I would have learned. And I don't want to go in the portal. Uh, it's always that one gem. Ha! Ah, found it. That took a lot longer than it needed to, to be quite honest. Now, you can actually go through the portals right there. As you can see, they don't do the little jingle. You can do through the portals right there and simply go back. There's actually another way you can go out. You can go out through the portal to which we came in. And usually in that case, we end up having a little cutscene or something. Don't know off the top of my head. Don't remember. And that was the sound of the door because my sister is in the room. Before I go... Bye-bye. Right, go through here. Woo, that was fun. I tell you, Spyro, kicking Rhinoc butt just never gets old. So, leave the level. Yep. Goodbye, Spyro. I'm sure I'll see you around. Oh, I guarantee. So, there we go. That is the first world, and we are done. Not bad. Please shut the door all the way, Janae. My sister says she, she throws up West Side. Eh. Sometimes it's actually very appropriate that she actually works in YOU. But that's besides the point. 
But anyway, guys, I'm gonna end it off right here. This is Roxas1359. I know this is a short episode, but like I said, level for episode. Only later on will I start to change that. So, for right now, time to go and eat more cake. Yay, cake!